Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be the end of this amazing little adventure to Trudriga. Trudriga! It was funny how you all said it at the same time. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. What is going on with that, guys? There you go. <laughs> hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. You are watching Spud Boys TV. Hiya. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Right, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the Vale of Tridiga. Tridiga? Tridiga. Tridiga. I keep saying it wrong. I keep on being corrected. <laughs> um, and we're going to go check out this town. Apparently, we've heard good things. There's a baguette shop, which is apparently the best baguette shop in the world. They do sweet potato... Sweet potato jack potatoes. Yes. Don't, so, don't, don't so, do me wrong now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're going to be going checking that out. Obviously, yeah. we're going to have a little look at the town and just have a little scope around and see what mischief we can get up to. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> On the, what was the ironworks of Tradiga. So Tradiga got its name. Oh, right by here. Right by here, where we are now. You are now standing on the site of the Tradiga ironworks. In 1841, 7,324 people lived in the town, and of those, 2,757 worked for the Tradiga Iron Company. Bloody hell. I suppose back then, that's all they could do, isn't it, working the ironworks? Look at this, though. This is not what you want to see, is it? Someone was dumping all this shit down here. <laughs> I don't know why no one's cleaned that up. Because when you look at that, you, you see that and it's really, really nice. You know, and then you just got all the shit. So someone should come and clean it up. And there's all shit over there as well, Jack. Let's go and have a look. That's not the first thing. That's, the, that's, that's not very good, is it? The first impressions. You were just dumping all that crap, look. Oh, there's a fish tank there. <laughs> Man, do we need a fish tank? <laughs> oh, look. Look at all that shit. <laughs> but we're not going to go down there. I just wanted to show you there's like a cool little skate park down there. Which is really cool. But we're not going to go down there. But the plan, the plan of action, we're going to go through this like shopping centre. Or shopping, look, look, looks like an indoor shopping centre. And then we're going to make our way through. Because this is the back here of the actual um, centre and then we'll probably finish up on that little guy over there because it's got loads of, again, they've got loads of like um, loads of history and there's loads of like symbols of, not symbols, what are they called? <laughs> Statu not statues, you know what I mean, like places where you could learn about the town and stuff which is really, really good and Newport don't seem to have that um, which they should, you know, because when we went to Monmouth they had like little QR codes, you scan the QR codes and it tells you a little history. Because Newport got loads of history and I think stuff like that would be really good. Newport Council, you need to hire me. So, just popped into Home Bargains and obviously I didn't vlog in there. Two reasons, one because of the music and two it's Home Bargains, you don't want to see anything. Didn't buy anything, just bought a few things for tea to make a curry. In it, babe. Yay. In it, mate. Yay. Okay. So, yeah, so this is kind of the start of the adventure. Um, don't know. Really, I've never been here before. It looks really nice, though, doesn't it? Yeah. It does look really nice. Um, what's this? So then we got a Tariga kind of notice board here, with all the things going on in the in the town, I guess. Um, Blaina Gwent County Borough Council. Um, it doesn't really say much going on, really. Just telling you where the local defibrillator is. Oh, that's a, that's good. One, there's one in Bedford. I'll go in bed for a minute, get defibrillator. Four minutes later, I've got no money! <laughs> it's too late, mate, the guy's dead. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> but look at the views, man. Silence! <laughs> look at these views, it's really nice. It's a bit cold. The yellow one, oh yeah. I don't think you can see it on the camera. You might be able to. But it's like a, someone's painted their house yellow on the top of the hill. That would be cool to walk up there, wouldn't it? And obviously this must be the back of the the the, the street that we're going to walk down in a minute. But I still don't know what's down here. We're just waiting for Craig and Sean. As soon as they as soon as they finished in there, just grabbing one or two things, we're going to go and uh, we're going to go and uh, have a little wander, man. We are. We are. Amanda is very much looking forward to her sweet potato jacket potato. Jacket potato. I've been told it has promise. Hiya mate, you okay? You fr are you from Trigger? 
<laughs> anything because we're, we're new here. well we're, we're just exploring the area well, is there anything, to look at. anything there's nothing to see well we've seen a clock tower that looks really cool we're gonna go I've check been that in out. the library in the museum no no is that down the, here down with the town clock oh, okay we'll definitely well, check that out go down to the town clock yeah and it's on your left it's just you see corals it's just from the, the grey building oh well, awesome hey, man he was a really nice guy wasn't he wasn't he nice um so far very well obviously the first impressions was all our mud and all that all the rubbish that we found but um so far you know i don't know what craig and doing man i think they're buying the whole shop <laughs> where are they i'm gonna go knock the window <laughs> i don't want to go on the window because uh I am mate! <laughs> Do you think it's cold because we're like in a like a in a valley? Because the valley all all the air goes through it. Yeah, there's like, there's mountain, there's mountains there's mountains over there and there's mountains going all the way around, so Yeah, it's because we're high, yeah. Are we high? But obviously the wind will come down, won't it? Yeah. And blow right through like Edinburgh. It, yeah. it got that bitterly Edinburgh cold. Mm. Come on, mate, you think you're bloody easy, didn't you, you lad? <laughs> what are you eating? What are you eating? <laughs> no, oh, no, I'm on a diet. <laughs> I'm on a seafood diet. Fifty-one diet. Oh, thank you. What is it? Fruit bed. Look what I got. Got a bit? He said half a bit each. What's that? I smell something! It's a spud boy! I thought you were going to say, um... No, no, I'm not going to say bird food, because last time it looked like I upset you. <laughs> yeah, is that good? Bird food is really good, it's better than Iceland. Is there one in Newport? There's, no, there's one in Cardiff, one in Blackwood, I love it. I do oh, can you, like, buy chicken like that? Can we go? We're gonna have a proper look at this. The girls are in there in a minute, getting a cup of tea. Um, That's quite a nice little ta little centre, though, isn't it? What do you think? What do you think this is all about then? Yeah, it's uh, it's like COVID killed it all off, didn't it? <laughs> I want to put my rubbish somewhere, mate. Mm. Pound stretcher. Oh, <laughs> what stretcher? <laughs> Pound stretcher. Yeah, but everything's really, them, everything's really expensive in there, though. <laughs> it's not like a pound anymore. It's like four pounds. <laughs> Look, you could buy a throw for fifteen quid. That's not, that's not good, is it? I don't know. You need to do a sniff, sir. To see them. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have a butcher's, which unfortunately is no longer here. Uh, like you're saying, probably COVID probably killed a lot of um, a lot of businesses, like small businesses like that out of, because obviously when lockdown, obviously their, their main business is like fresh, fresh product, you know? Uh, it's kind of sad to say. I don't know why, because COVID has kind of gone now, I think. So it should really get back in it. But like I said, some people just can't survive. And this is not very, well, I don't know, it is quite busy. Got some watches here, guys. The blood of Jesus Christ clean Seth us all from all sin. What are you doing here, yeah, mate? You're having a bloody cup of tea. You've been like 20 minutes. <laughs> no, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. She already hits me with a walking stick. Good girl. Don't get up from that. Thank you. Well, Tariga has very colourful chairs. Ah, look, Tariga Indo Market gone. That, that could be. Oh, what have we found here? Stinks of cigarettes on you, yeah? and that dude there. Oh, that's cool, look. Is that made out of clay? It's like 3D. Like um, through the chimney thing, the chimney. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, they are clay tiles. That's what I mean. This is what makes little towns like this yeah. awesome. Look at all these little mosaics. These ones. Do you think they are made by kids? Like the coloured in and stuff. I didn't even know. True. Well, it's bound to have a tra train station somewhere, isn't it? There's that fucking guy down there. Hey. <laughs> that looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh wow. See guys, this is why we come to places like this, because little gems like this look amazing. I give it a golden spud! <laughs> that is really cool, isn't it? I want I want to long... Well, not long. It should, it, I wish it had like a little plaque yeah, just to say what it is, the artist. But like you said, these these look like tiles. They look like broken tiles. Yeah. But are they clay tiles? They are, they? Are they clay? I don't know. The other ones are more modern, they're chimney ones. It's like. Mmm! <laughs> is this the town centre? I think so. I think this is the high school. Yeah, because it's got loads of like, it's got yeah. dentists and doctors and another clothes shop. Man, it's horrible to see in there. So, this is the high street of Tadriga. Um, so we're going to walk down there now, but we're just going to have a quick, we've got to make sure we do this vlog justice. We want to make sure. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, there's a picture of a bench. Go check that out, is it? In the middle of there, Yeah, what's this? It says This foundation stone was laid on Friday the 13th in 1966. Well, this wall? Is that what it's on about? Oh, look at that. That's where you can put your bike. Oh, no, it's this, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you, like, you, know, you can put your bike against this wall if you want. <laughs> Look, Craig, something you can sniff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not into sniffing bins. Um, I honestly thought we could go in there. I don't know what that is. That must be the back of the shops and stuff. Hey, that's we were up there. We up there. Oh, that's how we were, was it? Yeah, we've walked over there. That's where um, the phone trouble is up there. You can see, right? You can see where there used to be, like, like signs or something like this be a circle thing there some sort of circular thing yeah. there and obviously over the years it's just decayed and falling away but uh, we have seen a, these a lot these kind of like um, structures around uh, Tariga um, which is really interesting to be honest because the one was about Thomas Ellis um, you know Obama, but it doesn't have any information on it this is Rebecca Lewis Oh, yeah, oh, see, these are wicked. Mum yeah. has had that. They got one of them scanny things there. Eh? Um, she is Margaret Lewis working in the mines. I can't believe it. Sister Margaret, age 18, and Rebecca Lewis, age 10, from number two Plumbers Row, Tradiga, worked on the patches above Tradiga gathering iron, iron ore in 1861. Patch girls were described. 20 years earlier by the commissioners inquiring into the condition of children employment in mines as follows. In working the mines of iron ore in patches, that is to say where the ore is found within a few feet from the surface and the opening is made from the surface, girls are very frequently employed in wheeling and otherwise assisting the workmen. They are called patch girls or girls who work in the patches. They lead a sort of half savage life. So she's 18 and she's 10. Hello! <laughs> There's no one of these chairs here. Oh, someone has vandalised these, look. It's this amazing, is, isn't it? This morning soldier, that's what I want to add it to my This account. one? Yeah. Why is it a morning yeah, soldier? They're, they're soldiers in morning. Ah, uh, oh, soldiers. okay. They're, they're morning soldiers. Morning, not, not morning, I yeah, don't morning <laughs> as in crying. And it's the one. It's like this, but he's leaning on his weapon, and he's it's the morning. So Unless yeah, you're okay. Me in the morning, I'm doing both. <laughs> in the morning, so get up. <laughs> look at the look at the post box. It's gold. gold. What's that about? Oh, it's for the golden jubilee. Oh yeah. Oh, does that mean it was Olympian? Oh, that one might have been Olympian king too. Yeah. I'm sure. What? Oh, and have a look. Have a cigarette. 
Yeah. What? Whenever what? someone from a certain area won Olympic gold in the Olympics, they painted a. Uh, what? That's what awesome. That? Let's go check that out. It there has a plaque. Mark Collarbone. Yeah, so Gold. London's 2012 Paralympic Games cycling track, men's individual 3k pursuit. So, yeah, so oh, look at that, it's got braille on there as well. That's cool. I find that insane braille. Oh, I know. Oh, cool. they got Welsh braille there. Oh, that's awesome. I've never seen that before. So, because he won a gold medal, they painted the pump. Yeah, for, if you was from oh. the town, if you was from that, whatever town they were from, they painted Stick. one of these gold. That's amazing. Did you know that? No. I don't know. That's yeah. really good. Hey, well, there you go. Let's, let's go find him. <laughs> Give him an interview. Him. Oh. Again, it's the same thing. Look, all the all the shops are shut. It's the same. I was saying earlier on up there, like COVID killed a lot of businesses, a lot of the independent ones, and the ones that the ones that kind of survived. Uh, multi-million bloody like Asda and stuff you know yeah. they could afford to were they still open during Covid they were weren't they mm -hmm. do you know anything what? to stay open as long as you sell the range mate the range put a fridge and freezer in there full of food just to stay and then if you go in the range now by us now it's gone just... oh what was this oh it's an exchange place isn't it so back. <laughs> Look what they got in here. If I can afford that, I'd buy that straight away. It's rare you see little shops like this now. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's good like that. Interesting in Trevica for us to see. It's, we got a lot of subscribers as subscribers as athletes come here. So, how much are you? Like this how much are your Blu-rays, mate? Prices on the back. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Probably. This is the most interesting place. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of empty shops in there. Ah, uh, it's because um, it's privately owned. Yeah. So the council and guys need to say over how much they charge for rent. So they they, they charge silly prices. You know, there's a lot of um, like cheap shops as well, like pound shops, and then you know, there's a lot of them. But that's like, there's a pet shop, is it just by there or by here? It's a small pet shop. Next door. We don't see them, we don't see them where we're from. That's, that's, that's nice to see, just a small little independent pet shop. That was a pretty cool shop, he was actually really nice, that guy, wasn't he? It was his own business, wasn't it? Yeah. it was his own business is uh, having a little talk to us about the town, wasn't he? It's good, I love stuff like that, man. I love little shops like that. Yeah, they're really, really good. Like these, these are all independent. Yeah. There's a pet shop over there, there's that. They are the best independent shops. Remember, Pontus Free Avenue used to be full of them. Yeah. Of kids. Little, they're all like, there's, there's, like there's, a, there's a pizza hut up there now. It's all gone kind of like... Um, <laughs> cafe called The Rising Sun. I think he's shut down. Yeah, Tommy's. Tommy's. Yeah, used to be one at the end. I think he shut down. Oh. No, no bakery though. You haven't seen the bakery yet. Just seen a little um. Or chippy. This is amazing. Let me just go here. That's another little independent shop there, isn't it? What's that there? Shades. Shades. That's hairdressers, isn't it? Yeah. So, I am very impressed so far. I think this is amazing. I love stuff like this. It's good to see all the little yeah. independent shops. All the independent shops, which are proper make it, isn't it? Like there's a card shop there, and they do headies and stuff. It's amazing. So this is Trujiga. Independent? Independent insurance. Intermed I can't say it. <laughs> Intermediary? Intermediary, I don't know. Restaurant Europa. I think that's a bakery. Oh, perfect. What a perfect place to sniff. Oh, Craig, go sniff. Mmm! 
Do you sniff cake? <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound unhappy. I might just speak prickly. Do, um, <sighs> <sighs> no, I, can't, I can't smell anything. Is this the best calf in all of Tariga? Oh, yes. Yeah? Is there any bakeries up here as well? Bakeries? Yeah. Only Greg's. Oh, no. We don't want to go oh, Greg's. No, you're going in them down by here. Is it called the Rising Sun? Oh, yeah, yeah. On this side. That's a bakery, is it? It used to be called a pantry before. Oh, okay. Yeah, in there. We just passed that. Do you want to go check it out? Yeah, it's nice in here as well. Yeah, keep on following it down. You've got the day shop. And then see, it, it, is, it is quite sad that there's a lot of closed shops as well because it is really good, yeah. And you could obviously, you can imagine it when it was like really busy and stuff. I've only been living here in 85 years and I've seen the difference and it was just gone. Yeah. But they have got just all of, um, the money to do all the stuff out, haven't they? I don't know. Yeah, we're having a new <laughs> bus station. But I've been closed oh, some okay. shops up in the precinct. Oh. See that, that, so, that shopping thing where you've got potential, haven't it? It's just full of yeah, MC, it's, empty it's shops. full of like towel shops and that. Or it's empty. Yeah, it's or charity shops now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's like that, it's certain parts of the new place. I love a charity shop, yeah. <laughs> the shops are really expensive to rent in it. Uh, oh no, we don't have a laugh in here now, <laughs> come dinner time. Is this your business? No, I just oh. work here. Ah, okay. Oh, they didn't make a way oh, to come in there anyway. Hell yeah. of a laugh in here. We just talk we about all sorts, man. We find that as soon as we come out, of the, like we're from Cardiff, where we live in Newport, but as soon as you come out of the cities and into the valleys, yeah. people are a lot friendlier than yeah. we've noticed that. Yeah, 100%. I'm I, I remember just in Newport before. Yeah. Okay. And I moved over here. I like it a little bit slower. Yeah, you're on camera. Oh, you don't want to be on camera? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's quite nice. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, yeah. Ah, found somewhere to look at. Yeah, they've got something on the walls, like mosaics. That's what I mean. People people say, oh, there's nothing here. Like, even the people I live here, there's nothing to see in Tariqa. But look at this. This is awesome, man. Ah, this, is, this is a shame, isn't it? The NHS. The rich and the poor. Oh dear. That's for me. We're in Bevan. Look. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Do you think that's just fallen off or do you think someone's broken it? What the hell's that about? <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably what it is. It's probably been water damage, right? That's exactly, yeah. yeah. Thinking about it. It's, it's probably. Oh, sorry. Bears, probably made out of clay. I'm like Tadiga. Deserves its own town clock. The clock was the. God. Idea of the wife of the manager of Tadiga Ironworks, Mrs. R. P. Davis, who donated four pounds towards the total cost. Four hundred now. Four hundred. Oh, it's four hundred. Okay. This me asking for. Possibly a thousand. Oh, that's good. The townspeople rem raised the remainder at the bazaar organised by Mrs. Davis and her sister. Unfortunately, both sisters died before the bazaar was held. The clock was designed in 1857. Oh, there we go, gas. This mural was uh, comprised of 150 tiles and was sculpted in 2008 by the pupils of Tradiga Comprehensive School to celebrate the it's the 150th anniversary of Tadiga Town Clock. That's awesome, isn't it? That's so they made it. it. You imagine cool. when those kids grow oh, up, right? Yeah, look at that. They're all different. It's all the same concept, but every tile is unique. different. Yeah. yeah. You imagine, like, when, when these kids who make this grow up, they can come here and say, you know, I did that. I, I did, did that. that. Yeah. That's wicked. What a lovely community thing, though, you know? Uh, this guy says, All I am doing is extending the entire population of Britain, the benefits we had in Tariga, for a generation or more, we are going to trigarize you. <laughs> Tadigarize. Tadigarize. Tadiga. I can't pronounce it. You can't pronounce it. Tread eager. Tread eager. Tread eager. It's not cha, it's ta. Tradiga. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, because there's something on the gate up there, isn't there? What am I calling it? Tradiga. It sounds like an African country, don't it, to be fair? Oh, yeah, look, says something yeah. Do you think this was from like the original gate, maybe? Yeah, because look, 
Yeah, it could be like the original gates of, of a. So we're just by by there, guys. We were just by there. That's where we were, um. That's where we had the thing. We walk around. We. Oh, it's hard to see because of the uh, <laughs> look at you ducking. I've got like a wide angle lens, Craig. I can I see like the way. roof. <laughs> <laughs> I have noticed as well that loads of people smoke. <laughs> Smelly everywhere you go. Yeah, everywhere you go, they smoke. That's proper like proper Welsh valleys. Ooh. No. Do it, great man. Oh, so finance plate, yeah. Ah. Blocks the top. Oh, what's that shop? Sew and grow. Shop. It's a showing shop, is it? No. Show and grow. Sew and grow. Sew and grow. Oh, so like like. weed and stuff. Oh, sew and grow. Right, go you. Interesting oh, yeah. name. First of all, I thought it was like a sewing shop. Sewing what shop. does sew mean then? Like sew seeds. Seeds. I'm like. I'm really uneducated with sow seeds. What what are sow seeds? Sow seeds, like plants, bulbs, like when you're gardening. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Well, have a look at that building, man. That's awesome. Nah, we won't. Nah, we're not, we're not, we're not promoting drugs. As long as it's not, it's illegal, isn't it? I thought you'd get to monetize or anything like that. Nah, we get to monetize if it's like smoking of dr illegal drugs, ah. but this is like a legal shop. So, we just went into the, the sew and grow. The guy in there was really nice, wasn't he? He was really good. He was all right, wasn't he? Yeah, the only reason I did... He, he, he did say I could record in there, and the only reason I didn't is because it's got loads of like bongs and drugs and stuff, and I don't know if that would demonetize the channel or anything like that. Here he is, look. A funny one, yeah, he said he got another shop as well, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but he was really nice, wasn't he? And he was saying, again, said the same thing, there's nothing to see in Chiriga. And he was like, well, we've, we've seen loads of stuff. Look. I asked him to see. Just look at that building, man. Do me a favour, mate. Say, can you like and subscribe to Spud Boy for us? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. What's it? Uh, like and subscribe to Spud Boys. Like and describe to Spud Boys. <laughs> 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 I would love to get in there and yeah, just have a little wander around. Oh, what's this? Is this leading anywhere? Oh, do we do it just to see where it goes? Yeah, we'll cross back over now there. Yeah. We found an alley, guys. An alley of wonder in the beautiful. Do you know what? Again, I said the same thing. I, I love this place, man. I love things like this. Yeah. I don't like all this though. I think this is this is shit. Gas meters exploded. Is that bad? Is that legal? Oh, great! Look. Oh, what? Oh, mate, is that? There's an oven in there. Is that safe? Hello. Hello. Hey, mate. How'd you get in? Oh, I think someone lives in there. Mate. There's a helmet in there. Now we didn't go down here to get in there. We just went down there because it was an alley. But now we're gonna try. We're gonna see if we can get in there. Oh man, look at this. This is minging. Yeah, they probably get up there or something, don't they? Get in there. Oh yeah. How'd you get up there? That's all locked off anyway. I reckon someone has been living in there. Quick find the abandoned places again. <laughs> That, that's amazing though, that. Oh, yeah, the bank. we won't be able to get in there. It would be amazing to get in there though, wouldn't it? And yeah. Just have a little wander around. Even if, even if we do get up there, there's no way of getting through that door. It's proper sealed. I don't know if this is abandoned as well. And it leads you to the street we were on. Yeah, there's no getting up there. Well, wow. I'll try it. It's not going to work. No. <laughs> I tried it. But um, that would have been really cool. But again, it's like little things like that, you know? Little exciting little things that we've, that we're, that we're discovering. We've got meats and pies. I'll probably like you can buy cottage pies as well. Well, like all the homemade kind of like 
Dark Sources. So, being the first time to your um, your town, what would you recommend we go and have a look at? What do you think we should go and see? Um, well, there's the clock and the circle down there. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we don't mean that. No, I don't know. We don't really know. Yeah. Um, we got Brimbach Park. We got the Bradley Park. What's that? What's that? The Bradley Park is. Yeah. We go down past the clock. Yeah. Go straight down. Go straight down, and you see the big gates with the Bradley Park. That's oh, a, okay. It's a solid ball. Um, what can we say? It's all Victorian house. Ah, uh, there's a nice house. That's interesting. Yeah, go check it out. Stone, stone Arch. The biggest uh, dump of coal ever mined. Serious? What's on there? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. It's on a drum and it's, um, I think it's a bit of falling off it now. But, I can't remember number three, eight, three, ten. What? That's oh, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's Have you got to pay to get in there? It's about the size of this counter. Have you got to pay to get in there? No, 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 it's not big. So. Um, again, another nice person we just met. He told us to go down, collect the, check the clock tower out. He mentioned that the Chartists caves or something, didn't he? But um, yeah, you see that was a by the quarry, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Fellows, What's this? Know. Some Triga art. Lindsay is a slag. Lindsay is a slow. I never said anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go at me for not didn't say anything. <laughs> Mike! Yeah, Craig, you said there's loads of Chinese food up here, but there's no bakeries. Maybe we should open a bakery. We should open a Spud Boy bakery, that's what we should do. In Tariga. Specialise in jack and potatoes. Yeah, we do a jack and potato pasty. Is it open? Is it open? Yes. Oh. Because we are, this kind of the reason we're here, isn't it? Because we want to go yeah. to this place called Ollie's. They're like, I know Shona and Amanda, like, they want their jack and potato. They haven't got it now, I'm I will cry. I'm probably just gonna have a sandwich. Now, the part of the vlog, guys, that you all hate Ooh. food. <laughs> this is where we get to try some delicious delicacies in Tariga, Tudriga, Tariga, whatever, however, however, <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong, if you are from here, I, I do apologise, but, oh my god, we're going, <laughs> Craig's like, don't worry man, sticking his hand up, they're not going to stop for us, so they did actually, I don't want to look, because I'm quite embarrassed, <laughs> but this is where we're going, Ollie's Baguette Bar, takeaway and delivery, we've kind of hit a jackpot here, we got this year, and then we got a cake lounge. They don't do cash in here. They don't do card in here. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to quickly run over to the um, the cash point. Let's see what's going on. It does smell nice. It smells like um, like steak. It smells like steak. So we've just gone to Ollie's, which is by a little baguette there. We're just gonna show where we got. So Craig had what did you have, Craig? Steak, onion, and mushroom. Baguette. That looks really nice. That looks nice. had a chicken mayo, jack and potato, polenta, burger, and a full salad. What's that? That's a gherkin. Do you not like gherkins? <laughs> no. Can I have it? Yes. <laughs> I, love, I love gherkins. There's two, there's another one there. Mmm. Why is that? I had steak, onion, and mushroom in a jack of potato. I'll try a bit. Yeah, go on. Oh, it's serious. Moment of truth. Hmm. That's quite tasty, isn't it? Mm. But Mike, what did you have? Let's have a look. So I asked for a um, a sweet chili one, but they ran out of sweet chili. So I had like half sweet chili and half barbecue chicken. Um, she also put cheese on it for me. Um, I can't get out of the foil. <laughs> so that's my one. And it only cost 11 quid, so all that for us and, and the baguette for me cost 11. How much did yours cost? £10.80. £10. That's not bad, is it? How is yours? Is it nice? Yeah, it's, it's worth the wait. Yeah. And they were really busy in there as well, but they didn't want to be on film. And obviously, we respect that on this channel. They always say, if you 
you've got to wait for your food, you know it's good for you. There's a queue. Because you know it's being done fresh. Uh-huh. Yeah, fair play, Lily. Sorry. <laughs> They were all working their ass off, weren't they? They're really busy now. I'm quite chatty, so. I think Golden Spud. The food's nice, the price is good. The staff, they were very busy, but I think if you went in and now they want so much, they could have a chat mm -hmm. with us. The one girl was telling us about places they're going to visit as well. What Spud do you guys give it? Gold. Gold? Golden Spud, Craig? Golden Spud. There we go. So if you don't know, Golden Spud is is a really, really good review. So we're sat by there to eat our food, but we're next to this building, which looks like, I don't know what it is. It looks like it used to be like an old theatre or something. I don't know. Like yeah, I reckon it's a theatre. I reckon it's a theatre. Should we see them up behind them and have a look? That way? Might be able to go that way, Craig. Oh, you're going to the bin. <laughs> This is it, this is what life is like in Trigola. I'm kind of risking my life to uh, stand here and just have a quick little look around. It's pretty good, mine, so we've done all down there. That's so what we're going to do now. I don't think I should be standing here, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go down here now, have a look around the clock tower, then we're going to go check out the park because apparently there's like a massive chunk of coal, which is like the biggest bit of coal ever mined or something. Uh, when we were in there, right, the lady yeah. said, um, in that park, there's a thing in there called Devil's Arch. Yeah. And what it is, you basically pick a leaf up and stick it on top of this arch to stop the devil getting to you. Oh, so we're going to do that, and hopefully the devil don't get us. <laughs> I live with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> They're over there. <laughs> <laughs> Demonic. <laughs> if you want something to eat, you're more than welcome. <laughs> well, we just went to Ollie's. It, yeah. was, it was really, really nice. Yeah, they, they are nice. We've got more cafes here than anywhere yeah. else. Yeah, barbers, cafes, Chinese. Yeah. But stuff if you want a pair of shoes, we got to go somewhere else. Hmm. <laughs> like, What's you know, that all about? Which, yeah. yeah, I know. Surprised there's no uh, bakery, like a proper bakery. No, like, no, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. we got one butcher shop who charges what he wants. Was that the one down there? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really nice. like, yeah. Or did it go in the arcade? Around by two well, yeah, we were in the arcades. That was yeah. disappointing. It's mainly like empty or like home shops in there. Yep, the roof is leaking in there. <laughs> oh no. Like, you know, I mean, that's why you don't want them there. Like, I mean, you see some shops are there, like, I mean, but when I was a youngster, it used to be all the way down here. Yeah. You can imagine. Well, there, there was a shop everywhere, yeah. like, you know what I mean? But now that's what I mean, you can, you can totally imagine, because you can see all of the shutters and stuff. You imagine this is bustling and how yeah. busy it was. Yeah. Well, this, this year, this road is awesome. Where are you boys from? Uh, we're from Cardiff, but we're. We, oh my god, that's even but, worse. But, but we're in Newport, we yeah. live in Newport. All oh, right. Are you fans then? Football fans? I'm not. Of course. You are then. He is. Look, he's I fucking am. smiling. Oh, yeah. is he? oh, we can't wait to play you again. <laughs> we want to play you every fucking week we do. Like, you know well, who are you? Who, who are you, are you then? Get, is it? No, I'm a Swansea boy, but ah, I'm not. Like, you know what I mean? Jack. Yeah, that's yeah, it. We're, <laughs> not do, we're not doing that, great. No, no we, I remember we Swansea. Didn't travel over you so far? Man, the Swansea a couple of years ago, they were, they were Premier League, they were. Yeah, so was you. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know what's happening with the Blue Bears at the moment. Football. What we noticed the most coming out of the cities, as soon as you come out of the cities up, up this way, yeah, you might not have all that, but the people are so friendly. Yeah, well, they will be friendly yeah. because they've got nothing else to fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> They're just welcoming and friendly. And all, and like, all, the, all, the, all the independent shops and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, well, you have a look, like, you put the new, put everybody's head down, rushing or what, oh, on yeah. the outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've got jobs to do. Like, you know what I mean? They've got a mortgage to pay. And they ain't the fucking job, but they gotta go there. Yeah. Up here, like, I mean, there's hardly no work around here, but people are friendly. They're definitely friendly. And, yeah. You know what I mean? If you come here about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, empty. Yeah, we have the mine here as well, they're like me down the bottom. But if you take the money out of the place, yeah. people yeah. will survive, but people will still track to each other. Yeah. But instead of going for a coffee three times a week, you're only going once. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I see you boys. Oh, I see you, buddy. Thank, nice you Thank you very much for Shut talking up. to appreciate us. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah, don't don't get run over. <laughs> I, I'll try my best. <laughs> so we're now continuing the tour of Trudiga. 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 <laughs> so we did see a cake shop, and we all got very excited, but we think it's shut. No, it is shut. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, 
a shame because we need something sweet. So it's the castle. It's doing seem as open. Oh, it's just going in. Cool, see. I think the guy is going in. Being, being <laughs> So I've gone for a custard slot. I've gone for one of these with custard and an ice slice. And what do you want fishing? What, what, yeah, that's what I call it. What do you call it? That, that's a custard slice. Yeah. I call it custard. They do. Some people want an ice slice. Ice slices. I'm sure I'm going to call it cream. Do you mind when cream they had two? Yeah, they had a cream one and I put them with custard. Sure. She, they called them ice slice and custard slice. Ah, okay. And I'm on a coffee puff. <laughs> a coffee puff and you're also having corn I'm having a corn thing <laughs> and I'm going to taste the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, the staff and you know, really, really nice. So, um, yeah, get, get, so far, yeah, so good. Yeah, and this is called, what's it called? They've got a little card here. Yeah? Called um, a bespoke cake lounge. You've got like thank yous and stuff. That's what, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's all about these like family run businesses yeah, which are and when you walk in you can smell like the sugar and you can smell like the uh, like cakes in it it's like a cake mix like do you know when you do you know when you make your own cakes and you like mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what it smells like it's really mm -hmm. nice yeah. and like i said the staff are awesome i said everybody's so warm friendly and welcoming when they come in yeah they come in it's so friendly and welcoming yeah. it's like walking into somebody's home isn't it like, yeah it's, it's nice that's what you want isn't it Right, so the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. It's got the um. Yeah, stay tuned. I'm so sorry, Leanne. I know you're gonna be like, Mike, stop eating on these vlogs. You're making me hungry. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up. That's a good, that's a good one. <laughs> the only thing, I don't want it to get. I don't. Want, I don't. Want, I don't want to mess. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. It's quite like a uh, bouncy. I'm going towards the. Uh, the big key. She did want to go with the right in, it opens up the sides. Mm. You shouldn't really do that. No. That's a really nice one. So the question is, do you call these custard slices, ice slices? What's another word for them? Custard <laughs> Custard tart? I think I only know almost custard. Custard tart? No, no, custard slice and ice slice. The tart is the wrong one. I call it a custard tart. Would be incorrect. I'd call it no. a nice slice, maybe? A custard slice. Custard slice, I call slice. it. Not a custard tart. Not it's very stupid of me. And if you like coffee? No. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best one I've ever tried. Try that one. I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> Super custard tart. Uh, uh, coffee tart for going on. Oh my god. Was it a custard uh, coffee? Coffee puff. Oh my god, that's probably the best one I've ever, ever had. Oh. Oh. It's a platinum. It's a platinum. Me and some of them. So that's where we just were. The Beastoke Cake Lounge. Platinum Spud. Platinum Spud. They deserved Platinum Spud. It was. I just it said that. It's like walking into your nan's house. It's so <laughs> welcoming and it smells so lovely. And the thing is, we don't we don't just hand out platinum spuds, no, do we? Don't we don't hand platinum spuds out. Really, really. That, but that was just, they were so. We, we are tight with our platinum, we do not give them out, really. <laughs> but they were just so friendly, trusting. They were really nice. Lovely. They were the best yeah. coffee cake I've ever had. You, you could sit in there all day and have a nice. But do you know what? That was like a, hot, a whole hot chocolate. It was like a machine. Oh, they that had, was a whole hot chocolate. They said they've had it for three years, they, they survived through Covid. Yeah. And they were restocking as we left, which was uh, other stuff, which looked really nice. Yeah. Oh, it is a pub, is it? <laughs> so we're going to continue walking down the main alley. Indish. What's Indish? <laughs> Indish Express. <laughs> There's lots of barbers down here, isn't there? There just seems to be barbers, 
takeaways. Takeaway, oh, it's a laundry solution. Yeah. Chinese, yummy Chinese takeaway. Oh, <laughs> yummy. 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 <laughs> it's Japanese. Yummy. What's this? Morgan. Oh, yeah, what's this? An ice cream parlor. Morgan's yeah. Eatery. Yeah. Oh, it's like a cafe look. Coffee shop right next door, says. We need the, ah, this is what we need. Get a drink. Right, guys, so now we're going to risk our lives to get the perfect thumbnail of Triga. So it's looking good, I think. We're looking good. Okay. It's kind of coming down. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Quick, quick, quick. Thumbnail! <laughs> Run! <laughs> right. Oh, this is interesting. That's Braille, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mary Davis, this is. <laughs> no one got that joke. Did you get that joke? Yeah. I was pretending to read the Braille. Ah, uh, right. Now you said Mary Davis because of that. idea and raised money towards erecting a large illuminating clock in the centre of the city. Oh, it's just the one because. Where you are now standing. Is that the one? Yeah. That's because that we read her there, didn't we? Yes. She was a. Oh. Sadly, she died a year before the project was completed. That's right. The clock is 22 meters or 72 feet tall and is made of six sections of cast iron. The minute hands on each face are 66 centimeters long. It is believed to be the tallest freestanding clock made of iron in the United Kingdom. Oh wow! Look at that. And that's um, that's what I mean. Look, there's something over there I want to look at as well. We're going oh, on right new and this is what I mean, Sean. People are like, oh, there's nothing in Chiriga. What? Do you mean there's nothing? what? Hiya, mate! <laughs> <laughs> Did that look good? <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> Subscribe Middle to Spud up. Boys. I think Middle I spat down. then. I don't know. <laughs> what? Middle way down. That's it. Hiya, mate. <laughs> Who is it? North of Conway. And then that is... Uh, I can't do this, do I? I can't do that one. Founder of the NHS. Oh, what? He's tall, isn't he? Do you think this was his real height? He's solid, he's always. Danger demolition. Can't get in there. <laughs> this is a nice seat. <laughs> which was a socialist debate in society. Club members also paid a weekly subscription to create an insurance fund for its members if they found themselves well, in financial difficulty. Well, I said that, that first thing, it was Borneo or something, because was, everything was Bowen. There's even a whole block by there, like, the name that for Which is it, but um, the, the Now and Bevan Health Board is based on the health care that they provided to the iron workers in Tariga. He said he wanted to degrease. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, to degrease the work, to degrease. Again, there's nothing in Tariga, guys. Just an Now and Bevan, hello. That's awesome. To degrease the board, politicians in Now and Bevan. I know. But only the founder of the NHS was born, yeah? Yeah. Mike, you haven't looked at the clock. What's going on? We're going to come back to the clock when we come back. There is something down here we want to look at. Um, is this a church? It's a weather spoon. It used to be a church. Look at that. Should we go and have a look inside quick? It looks like it used to be like an old church. Oh, they've got toilets in there actually. I'm gonna go and, I'm, Craig, I'm gonna go to the toilet. So this used to be an old church, is it, do you reckon? It looks like a church. So, it didn't used to be an old church. It used to be... It used to be an old cinema. 
<laughs> which I, th there was there was like loads of information around, but obviously uh, we didn't read that <laughs> because we we only went in there to use the urinal facilities. Urinal, urinal, uranus. So we're now heading to the park because we've had there's something something really cool in there. And then we're gonna walk back up. We're gonna check the clock out. Um, and yeah, so guys, I know this vlog's gone on a little bit longer, but on Saturdays, you know, these vlogs are designed to be uh, like more adventurous and more exploration. And there's going to be more of these every Saturday. So I know a lot of you, you say you come in and you're like, Mike, on the Saturdays, you know, I like sitting down, getting a munch and watching your vlogs. <laughs> and that's exactly what you're doing right now. What are you eating? It smells delicious. <laughs> Have we entered the part of the vlog where we venture into places we shouldn't go? I hope so. Craig's on it. So this is to the glory of God and the sacred memory of Tariga's heroes who paid the supreme sacrifice during World War II or the World War. To the glory of God and to the sacred memory of Tariga's heroes who paid Sorry. the supreme sacrifice justice these gardens are for the pleasure please help them keep them tidy ah so this is like this must be the park they were on about then bed wealthy bed wealthy oh this is nice they've got a map of there it looks quite big i reckon is it that coal Looks like a coffin. Is block rock. Yeah, it says block of coal. Right, I'm there then. Number ten. Yeah, where are we? So are we at the entrance. Is that us there? That don't belong here. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little park, mine, isn't it? It'd be lovely in the summer, this, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. So the block of coal's up here. I'm not sure, is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh look, Alan. Oh man, it is. It, it is quite big. <laughs> the park. I'm going to see what this wall is. It's this way, is it? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's old, isn't he? Anyway. He's old, isn't he? Seventeen. Oh wow. Hiya, <laughs> yeah. mate. Seventeen years, and his back <laughs> legs are going. Ah. Oh. Oh. But he still gets up for his work. Well, he does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where the coal is. It's in there. In cool. It's the world's biggest lump of yeah, coal. Yeah, yeah, it's the biggest yeah. lump of coal. It's broke now because when they were transporting it to London to the whatever the show was, it was all, it was all right in the book, it was anyway, okay, it's okay. broke in transit, I guess, no. which was actually one or one <laughs> big lump of it. But you can read all about it, anyway. like, but if you go up there you now, go left by you, and then you've got three ponds, go up the side of the ponds, right to the top, and you can't miss it, you say. Oh, okay, so you're looking awesome. for the building over the top of it. That's wicked, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you. That's nice, isn't it? I can imagine it being lush in here when it's all oh, like the pond. You can all look at This is awesome. Imagine in the summer when it's all green. Yeah. We're nice to come out here with a picnic, you know? Oh yeah, it's got like a, well, I was, gonna, I was gonna say it's like a waterfall, but it's quite cool, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I think if there's more water in there, yeah, it'd go, it'd look really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's nice. Do you know what, mate? There's nothing in Chiriga. Only the world's largest piece of coal. And then you see that's, a bit, but he's that's insane, isn't it? 
That is massive. How heavy do you think it is? How would they even get that out of the kit of a mine? Because mines are small, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. That's insane. Ah, okay. That tells you about the ponds. This is the ponds, yeah, that's the thing. He don't, said, te <laughs> don't tell you about it. What's the other boat? He said there's um, something different from all the boats. Don't tell you about it. We climbed over the fence. <laughs> structure is an artifact that once held a world record but i'll let the man who created it tell you how it ended up here hmm. so about the lump of coal it was it's 11 tons 11 and a, today, 11 and a half tons 15 tons he said 15, 15 tons but it, but a bit tons. broke off didn't it yeah so a bit broke off yeah so basically um he was employed to find the biggest chunk of coal um so they can have her in their main office and their main yeah, they were yeah, like going to London for next, next So what happened is as they were taking it down to London, it broke off and it buckled the, the tracks. So instead they brought it back here and they put it into the employer's garden. So this must be the guy's garden. And there it is and it still remains one of the biggest chunks of coal in the world. In the world. That's mad, aren't they? And there's nothing in Triga, people say. There's <laughs> nothing in Triga. Guys, we found so much in Triga. I think if you want to go and visit a small little town in Wales, Triga is amazing, isn't it? I've got a feeling there's more to see as well. There's yeah. More. Yeah, you know, I, I I think so as well. This is nice. That. And a lad just put a call. And Craig, and Shona and Amanda. Spud boys. Spud boys. Spud boys! <laughs> Don't forget, did anyone ever see us? Thanks, Spud boys. We'll shout it back. Spud yeah. boys! Oh, yeah. we should do, right? I follow. I follow someone called DJ Audits. Whenever somebody recognises him, he gives them a keyring. Ah, okay. I might get a lot of keyrings done with. That'd be Jordan. wicked, yeah. Whenever someone recognises, he literally gives them a keyring. Uh, DJ Audits one it might be worth doing That's that. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. else? Really good idea. What he started doing now is he's um, he finishes say, his his blog at one location and he'll get a keyring and he'll hide it. Somewhere. Oh, that's cool. So as soon as the thing goes live, people know it's there and yeah, it's oh, little things like that. Yeah. Yeah, Did the audience, we are going to steal your idea, sir! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, probably one of the main, the main staples of Tariga is the clock tower. 1858, we've learned all about the history. It's all around, there's a... look at this here, mate. There's the man again. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing to see though, you know, mate. Antoine Brevin. I know. No, There's nothing to see in it up here, guys. Just let you know, when we say that, when we say that, we're not saying that there's nothing to see. There's loads to see. It's an amazing place to come and visit. Because um, a lot of people say there's nothing here. But saying that, if you say Newport, what you go and look at Newport? Oh, there's nothing in Newport. There's loads of stuff to see in Newport, and you know that because of the vlogs. Is this, this is the founder of the NHS? Yeah. And he's born here. So you want to tradigorize what he set up in, in Tradigo. Wow. A little bit of history guys. This is the, the only clock tower made out of steel, iron. iron. Steve Frandon in the UK or the world? UK. In the United Kingdom. Sorry, that was really crap information. <laughs> no, I think we shouldn't try it again. I think that was perfect. <laughs> I just keep forgetting, Shona's got like a history degree. Well, I will have when I finish. <laughs> it cost a thousand pounds. Oh, there you make, go. Which, back in 1858, that was a lot of money. And poor Mrs. Davis organised the bazaar and she died a year before the bazaar happened, so she never even made it, so she never saw the clock erected. That sucks. It's a sad story. 
Right, there's one more thing before we end the vlog, guys. Well, I keep on thinking that's a guy standing over there looking at us. It is, it's a narrow and better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the founder, of the, the founder of the NHS was born here. Oh, it's another one of these things, yeah? Iron Founder Newport Mon. Newport Mon. He's the Minister of Housing and Housing. Oh, there's one more I want to look at. These are really cool, man. Oh, that's his wife. Ira Bevan married Jenny Lee, 1934. another one yeah oh look it's got like a little water thing oh god got some sweets in there want a sweet <laughs> <laughs> so have a look at this mosaic so this is to mark the um Triga tradiga library look at that that's amazing isn't it how long do you reckon that took to make oh wow look at that Look, it's got the NHS guy. I forgot his name, Aaron Bevan. It's got. They should have the coal on there, that big massive chunk of coal. It's got a clock tower. Classy. Awesome, isn't it? It's really good. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be the end of this amazing little adventure to Trudriga. Trudriga! It was funny how you all said it at the same time. Um, yeah, so just want to say thank you very much for watching the vlog. I hope it was good. If you are from Triga, um, if you are from Tridiga and um, you were featured in the vlog, please put it in the comments um, and don't shout at us. <laughs> but seriously, what an amazing little town you got. Yeah. Um, such a pleasure. You made some amazing people. We give a platinum spud for some cakes, oh, well which is which is really really good. And, and yeah, it's just a town full of really nice people. Everyone we've spoken to was so everyone. Yeah. You find that with these little Bosch towns, yeah. everyone's so friendly. So we hope we did your town justice. And yeah, it's been a pleasure. And if you want to invite us down for something free, just let us know, you know. <laughs> what it, what it, what it, like, <laughs> so, so just want to say thank you very much for watching the vlog. And if you want to buy some merch, it's, um, there's a link below, you can buy some merch. And if you want to support the channel, it's 4 99 a month. You can support, all the money goes back into the channel. It takes, I don't know, me to Craig to places like Naples and Italy. All for vlogging, mind, it's gonna be it's gonna be insane. But like who knows in the future, you know, it could take us all to, to Florida or something. But yeah, just let you know, any money do donated to the channel goes back into the channel to make quality content for thank you, you amazing people. So, on that note, I would like to say thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Please like thank and you. subscribe. <laughs> Cole would say. <laughs> like and subscribe! Yeah. <laughs> right then, and we will catch you all on, on the, the flip side. side. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs>